I cannot intuitive eat. So um, even though people think that's the cure-all for someone with, you know, food issues, no. Intuitive eat for me means stuff yourself with everything you want. What's up? It's me. It's Kayla. So I want to film this quick little video. I actually just got out of my work Zoom and now I need to bust my ass and finish my final project for class tomorrow. So I'm filming this little video on my break. Speaking of. <coughs> okay, now it feels like a break. <gasps> oh my gosh. There's a rainbow outside. Normally that stuff doesn't phase me, but I don't know. That was just really nice just now. So I just got back into therapy. I had my first appointment on Monday. And then today I had kind of like a follow-up with a wellness specialist. Hopefully I'm getting on the schedule in the next week or so. But like, if you're not familiar intake, the process is basically someone is gathering like a bunch of information about you, your diagnosis, like, your past, your traumas, just they wanna know things, they ask you questions, they figure out if you know they think your issue is anxiety, depression, whatever they think it is, and then later you get matched. And then after that, they match you to a therapist. I know she won't, but the woman that did my intake was so cool. I wish that she could be my therapist, I really do. But basically I had to talk about my whole history, my childhood, trauma, stuff with my dad, mental illness and addiction in my family, my abusive relationship when I was 18. But then of course we talked about my weight and my food issues because that's really what I'm focusing on. Like this is my fourth week on this journey to lose weight without losing my mind. And I'm gonna be honest, I've had moments of losing my mind in this past week and a half. I'm not proud of it, but that's why I'm seeing someone. That's why I'm trying to get help because I really do want to lose this weight. I really want to keep it off and I really wanna figure out my shit with food. Like I want to figure it out because I'm done. I'm ready for some new shit. Like I wanna be one of those people that moves on. I saw this documentary here on YouTube. It was free, I'll put it in the description, but it was just following people that have lost weight and kept it off forever. Not forever, but like years and years. And basically just like what they have in common and it's because they did it slow and steady. They. They took up changes that they knew that they could keep with, just, you know, blah, blah, blah. But I wanna be one of those people, so I need therapy. And let me just say, I truly had not said a lot of the stuff that I said to her out loud. Like I talked about some stuff, especially with my relationship and things with my friends. I'm not proud of it, but like I can be judgmental, but it's because I end up projecting myself and my experiences onto certain people that have certain eating habits. And from what I learned, it gives me anxiety. I just thought I was a bitch, but turns out I have food anxiety and certain people, certain situations trigger me and I have this anxiety about it. And it's just really sad. I told her about me being on this journey and trying to lose weight and I could tell she was not really feeling it. So I'm already waiting for a therapist to be like, okay, so that's good. Um, you're not supposed to be on a weight loss journey. And like, this is how I feel like I'm going to make that change. I feel like watching my food now, the way that I do and keeping track of everything, like that's going to teach me down the road how much to eat and when I know that I'm satisfied and when I know that I just want food in my mouth and the difference between those things. I know what happens when I completely stop weighing myself and stop counting what I'm eating and all of that. It goes to shit. I mean, I guess this is where I tell you that I've watched literally every show, docu-series on TLC, on Discovery Health, about weight loss surgery, about weight loss. Like that stuff is just fascinating to me. I grew up watching TLC and Discovery Health. So like I'm, I'm desensitized to weight loss surgery. I just really am. As it's gained in popularity, I'm just like, yeah, that shit's cool. So here's something you don't know because I was away when it happened, but I did a kind of intro course, like the kind of intro course that you would sign up for if you were gonna go through the surgery. Sometimes it's in person, a lot of times now it's virtual. And so I signed up for this info session type of thing 
And I also went as far as calling my insurance to see where to go and like where to direct it. So I was almost about to make an appointment, but I told myself that, that I'm not ready for that yet. I've been in all types of different weight loss groups and forums throughout the years. So I'm in weight loss surgery groups. I'm in like Noom groups. I'm in like fucking weird British diet groups. Like I'm just, I'm just all over the place. But from what I know from the inside, I'm not ready for that yet. So I told myself that you're gonna do it. You're gonna give it one more good go. And then if it doesn't work or you, you know, end back where you were or higher, if you gain it back, like if I don't succeed this time, I'm going to look deeper into weight loss surgery. Now, when I tell you I don't want it, <laughs> I'm dead serious. I really don't want it. But there are some major, major pros of having the gastric sleeve, for example, which is what I would probably get. The gastric sleeve is a great tool and that's what I need right now. Like I'm in therapy, I want to work on my food issues and I just want to settle down into, you know, like a healthier lifestyle. If I'm not going to be able to count calories and lose weight like intentionally, I need another tool and I feel like that tool is surgery. Like if it's done right, you shouldn't be really hungry, like hungry for a while. And you can only eat so much that I feel like it would be so easy for me to use that to my advantage to implement this lifestyle change. So by the time that my stomach is a little bit more normal and you know, the restriction isn't as bad, what do you know? Like I lost weight. I would love that tool. Now, I don't wanna to have to use it. I wanna do it myself right now, but I'm just kind of worried that I'm going to be advised not to be doing this. And, and I don't know. I'm open to hearing what they have to say, why they think it's not good that I do this, but I'm, I'm pretty determined and no one's gonna tell me shit right now. I basically just need help with how do I stop getting triggered with people eating foods that I desire around me? Like it really takes a lot out of me. I want to be good, but I get anxiety and it's not fair for me to project my food shit on you. It's not fair for you to not be able to eat five donuts because you want to, because that's your business. But you have me over here being stressed, like, oh my God, five donuts, and then you're gonna want more donuts. And then, you know, you're gonna be so high, and then you're gonna be sick, and then you're just, tomorrow you're gonna get McDonald's, and then you're gonna get Burger King, and you're just gonna be triggered to binge eat, and then it's gonna start from there. Like, that's my shit, that's no one else's shit. But I just don't, I have so much anxiety around food when I'm not binge eating. And so I'm just really trying to figure that out but I'm done trying to figure that out, intuitive eating. I cannot intuitive eat. So um, even though people think that's the cure-all for someone with you know food issues, no. Intuitive eat for me means stuff yourself with everything you want. Okay, we're, I'm wearing three rings and just did my nails sloppily and I think I'm all that. Like. Now, as far as the weight loss surgery, like ultimatum decision thing, I don't know when I would do it if I did decide to do it. And I think that just shows that I, I don't really want it. Like I really don't want it, but I want to show my appreciation. No, that's, I just want to like acknowledge that that's a great tool. It makes sense. I've seen the surgery done a bunch of times. Like I know I've seen a lot of testimonials. Like I, at this point, I feel like I know more about weight loss surgery than some people that have had weight loss surgery do. Like, it's a lot. But even knowing what I know, positive, mostly positive, I just don't know if I really want to adjust my body like that. I don't know. So I'm glad to be back in therapy, but ultimately I just need someone that can be there with me and to help me through what I'm doing instead of telling me not to do it. Yeah, that's what I want, that's what I need. All right, so that's all for this video. I just wanted to hop on here and rant a little bit and, you know, flap my gums. Magic. That's all for this video. Next video is going to be my four week weigh-in. I'm gonna take my measurements. I'm gonna compare videos and pictures like 
I'm ready. I'm not trying to get too hyped for it, but I'm ready to see my results because I really haven't been checking this past week or so. So, <clears throat> okay. So I'll see you there. Bye.